There are many different ways to use the Cobra system. In this video, we'll be using techniques that utilize cord and other supporting products. So let's get started. There's been much discussion in the industry of what to use when cutting a windshield out. Square wire or a cord? Squire is a square steel wire that would cut through the toughest removal with ease. The advantages of using wire is that it's made out of steel, it's very strong, has four sharp edges. As it's plowing its way through the urethane, there's always a fresh sharp edge. And so it's cutting through the urethane with ease. Ripcord is a strong, woven fiber designed for use with the Cobra system. As you're pulling the cord through, it tightens up, gets thinner, and now you have less resistance. But tightening up also gives it strength. The snake eyes is a boroscope that allows me to see what is underneath the windshield. Sometimes there's hidden clips or body seams that might be a problem when making my cuts with wire or cord. So let me show you how this works. After powering on the snake eyes, insert the lighted end of the flexible shaft into the pinch weld area. Move the unit along until the clip shows on the screen. On both sides of the vehicle, mark where the clip is located by drawing indicators on the glass. Use a pinch weld prep tool on both sides of the vehicle to cut the marked clips so that the quarter wire can pass through this area and cut the urethane. Insert the wire starter through the urethane near the corner of the passenger side of the windshield. Pull the wire starter back slightly to reveal the wire loop on the outside of the vehicle. Put cord through the loop. Then pull the wire starter completely out of the urethane and into the vehicle. When using the cord or wire on the Cobra, you always want to make sure that you pass the wire or cord through the spool. And on the spool, there's two holes. So when I get my wire or my cord, I want to insert it through the hole, like so. And then, because I'm using the cord, I want to put a couple of knots at the end of the cord. And this is going to help the cord stay in the spool, because I'm going to lock it in place. There's one. And there's my second knot. Now, I'm going to pull the cord. And you can see how that knot has now kept the cord from coming through. Now, if I'm using wire, I'm just going to push the wire through the hole, bend it a little bit, and give the spool a couple of turns just like I'm doing with the rip cord. And this is going to lock it in place. Now we're going to place the Cobra on the windshield. But before I do that, I want to make sure that the opening of the spool is facing the angle of my cut. Now that I've done that, I'm going to pump up the Cobra. And I'm going to make sure that the pump does not show the red line. Just make sure that it's secure. On some vehicles, the molding can be tight against the body, so it may be necessary to break this seal loose using an installation stick. Although it can be used with ripcord, the Venom wire dispenser was designed to keep all types of wire tightly spooled while being laced behind the molding. Whether you are using wire or cord for your removals, make sure that you secure the wire or cord behind the molding at the corner of the glass. Now that we have the cord or wire installed underneath the molding, we're going to go ahead and lace the rest of it around the perimeter of the windshield. You want to make sure that you use your dash protector against the glass and the wire between the dashboard and the windshield, either the wire or the rip cord. We always want to make sure that the wire or cord is against the glass when making our cuts. As you can see, I'm making my cut, and I want to make sure that the angle of the opening of the Cobra is facing my cord or wire. My 
dash protector. Move it over and continue my cut. If I start to feel that maybe I'm getting a little tension on the cord, maybe there's a heavy puck usually in the center, uh, I want to maybe increase pressure as I go around that area or cut through that area. Again, I want to move my dash protector over. Get my wire between the dash protector or the glass and the glass or my cord. That's where we're using the rip cord. If there's any stops, I want to make sure that I bypass the stops. In this case, I did not have any stops, so I didn't have to worry on this vehicle that I'm working on. I'm going to go to the opposite side of the vehicle. And you can see how I'm working my way across the bottom. Again, I want to make sure that the window, the opening of the Cobra is facing my wire or my cord. I'm going to now move the Cobra. I'm going to remove the ratcheting device, the ratchet, disconnect the cup. I'm going to release the tab here, pull it outward, and it's going to release the wire or the cord. Now, this opening here that you see here, I want to make sure that I face it on, on the corner so this way as I'm making my cut, it doesn't go against the edge of the Cobra and creating resistance. I want to have less resistance, so I want to have open space, the window. So I'm going to turn it here, facing the corner, and as I can see that the cord is okay, I'm not going to be putting it under a bind on the tool on itself. Again, I'm going to pump it up until the red line disappears on the plunger itself here. Get my ratchet, there's a push button on the ratchet. I'm gonna push it in, falls in place, and I start to cut again. Before I do that, I wanna make sure that the edge is okay and it's all right. I'm gonna move over, make sure that I go between the glass and the dash, and that the wire of the cord stays against it. I've also made sure that I am close to the A pillar and I've injected the dash protector into the A-pillar. This way I make sure that the cord does not come in contact with my A-pillar. Now, I can see that my cord is starting to move, so I'm going to anchor that on the inside. And I've brought my rip cord, my secondary rip cord into the vehicle. I'm going to get my anchor and I'm going to run the rip cord through my anchor, lacing it. Making a knot on it or two. Pull a little bit of it out. inserting it and locking it in place, just like I would do wire. Then I'm going to face the pin to where the wire or cord has not cut. So this is the other end. So I'm gonna cut from this point, okay? 
So I'll go back to the opposite side. I've got my rip cord anchored. I'm going to the opposite side of the vehicle and continue where I left off. Put my gloves back on. And then here. You're gonna start to see the wire on the other side start to tighten up a little bit. Or not, depending. Keeping the cord against the glass. And now I'm going to release the ratchet, release the cup. I'm going to pull the tab out, explore some more wire, turn the window, the opening of the Cobra, pump it up, tighten it up. this off and then I'm going to use my installation stick keeping the wire or the cord against the glass putting my ratchet back in and working my way up I could also use my finger to guide it. And just work it a little at a time. I'm following my wire or cord with my finger on the wire or cord. I'm going to release the ratchet button, release Cobra. Release the tab, expose some more. Now, if I have a frit on the windshield for the shade or the visor, I wanna make sure that if it's in, in the glass, I can go ahead and mount the uh, Cobra onto it. But if not, then I would need to go further out to where the area is clean. And I don't have to worry about the cup turning loose. Again, if the frit, the dot matrix is on the interior of the glass, not in the glass in the lamination, I wanna make sure that I keep that away, the cup away from that area. Now, this particular vehicle, that stops. Now what I want to make sure is that I bypass that stop, just like so, and continue on my way. Keeping the installation thick in between it, and just rocking and rolling. Now I'm going to go to the opposite side. Again, I want to make sure that I keep the wire or the cord against the glass and away from the interior. I'm going to go ahead and release the ratchet, remove the cup from the glass, release the tab, bring it over to the corner, make sure that the opening, this opening, is almost facing upward. So this way, my cut will not come in contact with the edge of the Cobra. Now in this corner, there is another stop. So when I get closer, I'm going to lower the Cobra so that this way I don't come in contact with that stop or placement pin, should I say. 
Okay. Release the ratchet. Release the cup. Release the wire tab. And I'm going to put it about midway. Pump it up. Get my ratchet. Push the button on the ratchet. my installation stick and make sure that I get behind this stop just right there in the corner and when working with any removal you can sometimes encounter a problem area I am about to encounter an issue with the windshield placement pin and I will have to attempt to resolve the problem a few times before the demonstration can continue we could have edited this out of the video, but felt it was important to show how to work around problem areas like this. Okay, got it unstuck. And it's good to know that you can do that by releasing it. So this way, if you're hung up, you want to make sure that you bypass it, bring it back a little bit, pull the cord out a little bit, undo it, make sure that your stop, you get your bone between your stop, like so. Push my ratchet back in. Again, I'm caught. Release it. And find it. Up with it. And let me get in there. So I can see where it's at. Right. I think I got it that time. Hopefully the third time is a charm. And Snack down there a little bit. Work my way down. Now, I want to make sure that if the cord starts to move at the bottom, I want to make sure that my dash protector is between. The trim panel, the A pillar here, and the dash. So this way, if the secondary wire, the anchor starts to move, it doesn't come in contact with the dashboard or with the A pillar trim. I'm going to move my cup slightly. Release the ratchet. Turn the anchor, the angle, so that my opening. It's now facing closer to my end of my cut. Pump it up. Push the button tab of the ratchet. Get my bone. Put it between the trim panel. 
and work my way down. Again, always make sure you keep your wire and your cord against the glass. This is gonna keep it from getting hung up on the trim panel and also keeps it from having too much resistance. You want the least resistance as possible. I need to change the angle. Cut again slightly. Give myself a cord. Angle it downward. That this way the cord is. Want to crisscross them? Make sure that I get that between it. So the last final cut, I'm gonna crisscross them here. Here we are, crisscrossing them, making sure that my cut is complete. Sometimes removing your gloves makes it a little easier to remove hardware. And there you are. That is the removal of the windshield with the Cobra. As you can see, the Cobra system is very easy to use. Although this system is much different than using power tools, the Cobra gives you the added benefit of saving the glass, saving moldings, and eliminating any damage to the pinch weld. If you have any questions, please contact us.